Hello friends, this is Nitin here. How you guys are doing? So today I want to take you through very essential part for any watercolor artist. Uh, some of the watercolor supplies and the equipments which is extremely important. So let me take you through all of these equipments and the art supplies I've been using. I used to carry this box everywhere wherever I go so uh, so it helps me also. and uh, not so uh, heavy so this color box is uh, really helping me a lot whenever I'm planning for outdoor painting plein air so I used to take this box and uh, I can carry a lot of stuff inside uh, like uh, these pencils these colors and a lot of small small uh, supplies I can carry I can carry along so this one where i used to uh, keep all my brushes so this is the part of this box which you can you know uh, just keep it like this okay and you're done so as you can see the color i'm using is uh, uh, these are from the camlin artist watercolors so generally i use this uh, uh, tube uh, which is 20 ml so the reason I'm using this uh, Camlin watercolor uh, primarily because it's less expensive and uh, I can buy as many as uh, watercolor tubes because it's uh, it's like uh, uh, 50 rupees or 60 rupees kind of uh, each uh, you know uh, the each tube. Uh, if you don't want to have uh, a bigger tube like this, you can just go for a smaller tube. Uh, something similar like this so these all are a, these all are a smaller tube but uh, I don't use these tubes but preferably if you have started your watercolor journey so probably you can this option would be a great for you so recently I've started using other brand also so uh, as you can see I've uh, started using uh, the Missin, the brand uh, which is uh, available in India uh, can you see this? So this is a horizon blue I'm using, but the only thing here is uh, this is pretty expensive. Uh, this tube it cost me 500 rupees, which is <laughs> so expensive. So though it's very expensive, but if you look at the quality of the color, it's a remarkable experience. When you apply this color to your painting, it's like a thrilling experience. So Compared to the Camelin, the contrast and uh, the overall impact is very powerful. So slowly I'm getting into it uh, as long as I can uh, afford this. So if you are curious about how I shoot my videos, so this guy is responsible for this. So this is the uh, tripod. It's not a tripod, it's very flexible, uh, which uh, I just keep my, my phone in this and uh, i just have it in this like this and uh, you can uh, you know that this one into wherever uh, we you you can just make uh, you can use it as a clutcher so uh, it fits very easily and uh, you can so my most of the videos i'm uh, uh, i'm using this it's pretty good for me it's, it's been helping me a lot so whatever the video you have been seeing even in the, uh, when i go outside i do plein air I've I've been using the same so so yeah it's a, it's a pretty good uh, if you want you can use this I've been given the link of all of these so if you want to buy it. so friends recently I got this uh, chair which is uh, very handy I got this online in, in my Amazon uh, I got it uh, because uh, I do a lot of plein air and I go and I stand for a long so. I just thought that uh, uh, you know having this kind of chair solves my problem and I'll just uh, whenever I need uh, to have a rest I can use this so it's a fairly good I mean, you can just expand it like this sit on the chair and do your plein air and if you want to carry this uh, anywhere and it easily fits in your bag uh, if you have a small size of bag so it fits very easily so I would recommend to use this I've given the link of this so you can use that definitely and this is what I'm going to use. Especially if you are a traveler or you are doing a lot of sketches, 
So this is the best thing that you can ever have. You can sit on this and uh, keep a board in your lap and uh, start doing sketching or painting. So this has been really helping me. The another thing one is this, which is uh, uh, this is my easel for uh, outdoor painting. So you can adjust uh, how what you want. So this is the one. So I've been using the various type of uh, tripods, you know, like this and this. For the brushes, uh, these are the synthetic brushes uh, which I had got, which I got from my local store. Uh, so these brushes are extremely powerful and uh, helping us so significantly while doing. So initially, so from the beginning, I've been using these brushes for the bigger mop like this. So I just keep experimenting with the, with various brushes. So these are the synthetic brushes. Now I'm getting into it more organic brushes. So I was using this chair earlier, but uh, it was uh, slightly less height and uh, I, I was not feeling comfortable. So uh, I just uh, thought to have a slightly uh, more width, uh, more heighted one. So, so as most of you have been seeing that uh, in my all my demos, uh, I've been using this uh, color palette, which is uh, fairly good. Uh, if you uh, if you are working on a very limited color. So friends, I've also been using this uh, water sprinkle uh, for my painting. So whenever I wanted to make my paint a uh, little wet, so I used to sprinkle this. So if you have the bigger size of the painting, you can use this, uh, which has a, a lot more sprinkle. Uh, if you have a smaller painting or if you want to do uh, a very specific place sprinkling, so you can use this uh, water container. Uh, which I use a lot, uh, especially when I go out for plein air painting. It contains a lot of water, so I don't need to change my water very frequently. And it's very handy also. Uh, you can use this and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty much handy. So as I was saying in my previous video, you also need to have a, a sketchbook wherever you travel. So that's what I do. Whenever I travel, I carry this uh, sketchbook with me. So friends, this is what I have been using as my watercolor supplies and I feel that these supplies are very important. Uh, if you would like to see some of my work which I've done recently is these. Yes, so this is going to start this who's making painting. Uh, so this I've, I've referred this painting from uh, one of my Instagram post so this is pretty good I wanted to send this photograph to the particular artist who has been making this painting and, uh, is there another the cityscape kind of uh, painting I made by the way uh, friends if you want to buy any of these painting i have one other collection also if you want to buy this painting definitely get in touch with me so these are the painting i've been making so these are a few of the painting uh, which is there i have a huge collection of my watercolor painting so friends i hope you enjoy this watercolor uh, supplies journey which i have been using I would also request you to please go and subscribe my channel and uh, support my art uh, to become my patron. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got something from this. And uh, take care, have fun, enjoy watercolor and uh, see you next time. Okay.